Hey, orange one here. So, uh, we are basically just crushing the Vlandians. Like, honestly, this is... it's insane. I'll show you more Marcus! what uh, I mean when we get out of this battle, but let me just kind of wipe these guys first. I, I think I've gotten my strategy down pretty good on these battles. Like, get within 150-ish, I think, meters and just let my archers do some work. Like these guys, they can they can hit them from quite quite far. It's pretty cool. So, we'll just kind of will this army down cuz we have vastly superior numbers, like honestly. It's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah. Things are going good for the the Serenid clan, the uh, northern Asari merchants have essentially taken all of Landia. Like, I, um, basically persuaded two lords to join me, like, just before I, uh, started recording. And, yeah, I think it's basically Dirtheart and, like, the lord who's leading this army, uh, Severic. And that's it, like, honestly. Like, the Vlandians are essentially no more. They might, you know, might be able to knock out the, the man who fell their empire. We'll see. But yeah, look, they're they're just getting decimated by the archers and, that are now shooting at me. Okay, and let's see. Maybe I should let my infantry advance. Yeah, infantry. Why don't you advance? Yep. This should be a bloodbath. I don't know why they're moving so slow. Is it like, I don't know. I almost said the snow, but I was like, oh, that's just silly. Oh man, oh, oh dang. Ouch, I'm hurting. Cavalry, just clean them up. You don't need to guard me anymore. I'm gonna hang back. The leader of the new Serenid nation. Is uh, is pretty badly hurt. <laughs> you know, honestly, I I'm a little bit worried about the Kuze though. The Kuze are holding off the Sari. I wonder now that the Vlandians have been all but wiped out. If I don't attack the Sari, I wonder if they can actually make some progress. You know. Okay, they're they're running now. I've got my bow. This is kind of what I've been doing a lot of recently. I feel like I've gotten okay with the bow. Like I know how to usually kill them, but not always. So let's see. So Severic, I'm pretty sure, was the one that um, is the leader. Yep, you. So if I let you go, I bet that you go back to your um, your camp, like that's in your city. So I'm gonna just take everything that we got there, and oh man, look at this experience! Like honestly, the way that I've been doing it, like holding the line with the archers like that, the archers get so many kills. Like they have a lot of level ups most of the time, and I just need like more cavalry. That's why I I, I know that guy's not like. A good cavalry unit, but they're good enough. And we got a horse. I mean, that's again not not a huge uh, haul, but it's it's pretty good. But yeah, check this out. All of this is ours, all of that. And I basically convinced this dude and that dude to join just by persuading. And I'm hoping to do that to this city as well. That's actually Dirt Heart's own city right there. So we could try and convince Severic to join us which is what I'm pretty much about to do. Like, he should be spawning somewhere around here. And what is this? Okay, you're gonna crush it, it looks like, but I'll help out. I'll just send the troops in. I'm not gonna fight this out myself. That's like totally not worth it. Not worth my time. I mean, even the auto calc can figure that out, you know? Yeah, cool. I, I did want to get involved though, because it's always worth it to get that extra bonus relation. 
And that was one of the people that joined me. So he's actually attacking his former countryman there for me. I like it. This is, I think, where the game really picks up and gets super interesting, you know? Oh, look, we got even more uh, prisoner recruits. Yeah, I think most of my army actually might be Vlandian. Possible. Um, sure, let's put these guys back. Is that enough? Yeah. But I think we just kind of want to advance. I don't want to go back to drop off prisoners. I could attack that place, but I don't actually want to attack it. I, if they had quests, I would do them. Looks like they actually don't hate me, so the people here don't hate me. Villagers of Turby. So... Hey, Severick's here. Let's see if we can convince him to join us. Please join me. Oh no, this looks like it's not going to be successful. Actually, why is it like... Oh, okay. Well, maybe we can pull it off. No, it's probably not gonna happen. Unless we get like a double. Yeah, we can't we can't convince them. It's a shame. Well, if you won't betray your liege, we'll see what we can do. I might I might try and uh No, I don't wanna make peace with you guys. I, I want you to join me. Um He's got 700 there. I'm going to go over here and see what's, who's the Lord of Turby. So if I click on it with a right click, I can see that dude. Not, so you're at the castle, Chasson. So I probably want to talk with Chasson. Then. Hey, there you are. Can I um, convince you to go to your like castle or something? Because I don't think I'm going to be able to... Well, I might be able to corner you. No, I don't think so. Well, I'll try. You're the other person I think I can have join me. And I'm pretty sure my other lords can take a city, so I'm going to let them siege if they want to. Oh, is he getting out of my path? No, I think I might have him trapped. I might, I might not. This is kind of looking like he might get away. Dang it. Go to Turby Castle, that's fine. If you go into Turby Castle, then I can talk to you. So, here we go. Lord of this castle. Can I convince you? Ooh, this is the one that I think we are much, uh, much more likely to get it. And we're not, I mean, we could do it. There is possible. No, we're not going to be able to do it. Okay, well, these guys, they don't want to join me. I mean, I guess I could siege them then. I mean, I, I tried to offer them a chance to join me. I wonder if I take his throne, like what happens to these guys. I just don't want them to join the Asari. Um, so we're going to besiege this place. I gave him a chance to join me, right? Gave him my arguments. I'm going to siege him down. And then we'll try and talk to him maybe in a little bit. We'll maybe parlay with him. I don't think he'll he'll be wanting to join me after I do this though. I really should be going for the city, but I think that um, another lord will will do that. And uh, why are we putting prisoners there? That's not what I want. We got pretty good numbers game going on right here. I don't think they're going to be able to resist much more. I could have her join me. Where are you, her? Yeah, come come here. I'm over her. 
Sorry, <laughs> that was really bad. Um, we could also, we probably want to up our relation with some of these new people. I think you, yeah, I want to be more of my homie. So I'm going to be trying to spend my relation, my, um, like as much as I can to keep that up. And I don't think, you know, nobody's really been trying to leave to go to the Vlandians in a while since the power has changed. So I think that basically they're like, oh, you're going to be beaten so bad. I don't really want to be a part of that. And now they're like, okay, let's, let's be a part of that. <laughs> How much money do you have? <laughs> you know. Let's see. Chase, can I talk to him at all? Or No, I don't think I can. Can't really do a parlay. Well, you sealed your fate there, mate. I tried. So yeah, we'll get these all built up and we'll see what to, uh, we want to do from there. I think against 700. I'm pretty sure Dirt Heart can't even raise um, more than that right now. He might be. He might be able to. But definitely if I'm doing this and someone else is attacking a different part of his kingdom, he's gonna be not able to really do much about that. And there's a reason I'm going for the castle. It's just like I kind of want another chance to try and persuade that lord with the city to join me. You know, this guy, eh, he's just some one castle lord, you know. I can give this castle to a lord that has joined me, and I think there's a couple that might even be unlanded that need a castle, so hopefully I can you know, give one of them this, because they've been, they've been willing to uh, be a part of the movement, right? Okay, so let's line up the ram, and we'll do the towers as well, because I think we're not going to knock down the walls, but maybe we'll, maybe we'll take down the walls. That is definitely something I'm open to. You know? We'll just speed it up because it's just gonna kinda go for a little while here. Oh, actually we might need to work on more siege equipment, I don't know. Hold on. Let's get that one of those and then we can work on this again. Just kinda need to keep them suppressed. And the nice thing is that it'll actually kill them a little bit. And if the walls are damaged, I think you actually get more shots off. Pretty sure. I could be wrong about that, though. I'm not 100% sure about that. But if we keep those Ongars on... I, I've found that Ongars tend to work for castles. But if you're attacking at, like a town, you really want to have like a proper trebuchet. You know? And you know, by the time that these towers are ready, the walls might be might be down. Yeah, you can look at us Morcon as much as you want, but you can't really stop us at this point. But we need to get through this war quickly, which is also kind of why I want to use words instead of sieging places, because like you can convince someone to join you right away, and we have the money to probably convince that dude with the city to join us. Just need to have the dice kind of rule in our favor. Um, Dalmaris. Oh, okay, so they're trying to take the Sturgeon, last Sturgeon city. Uh, I'm going to give you the support again as well, because I need that dude to not leave. Because that would just make this war go a lot longer than it needs to. Um, let's let that get built. Maybe we'll knock down the walls, because there's quite a few of them in here. Oh, we're having to slaughter animals for meat. Nah, let's attack then. If we're having to slaughter animals, we'll just take out this last thing. This last ballista. Yeah. Eh. No, sorry. That wall's like pretty much done. Yeah, at least knock down one of the walls. If it's like... And if... I think we have plenty of animals as well. I think we're okay. Can I just give ourselves just a little bit more cohesion? And yeah, one of the walls is broken, and hey, someone's assembling an army, which probably means, you know, things are about to get interesting. We'll get that built up real quick, because honestly, I don't really need another siege thing. Should I take out the ballista? Yeah, one more ballista. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. We got the numbers. They've got both of the holes in the wall, so they're breached. 
we'll just flood right in and take it. And then we'll need to post up some defense as well. Until Zon lays claim to it and starts like trying to defend it for me. Because I, I... Oh, wow. That was quick. <laughs> well, if I need arrows, I know that there's some back there. But there's also these guys, which are probably gonna take some arrows. But look, the walls are already, like, totally open. Like, there's not really much cover for them. Oh man, I think we just hit them with an Ongar there. I didn't see it myself, but... Yeah, we're just going to town, these archers. <laughs> I'm having a hard time seeing them, but I can kind of make them out. Oh man. There we go. Nope, I don't see anyone there. Can I see someone there? That's someone there. Yes, that is. Okay. The nice thing about having like one of these big like blue yeti mics is that I won't lean in because I, I, I'm tempted to lean in right now. I know it's like really bad for my neck and whatnot, you know? Hey, where was that dude that got like tagged right away? He's still there. But look, we're, we're really, we're getting in there, getting some kills already. Where's your gear? Oh no, did your gear despawn? Uh oh, I thought I had uh, un unlimited items and stuff. Strange. But look, we got our ram pretty much at the gates. I think they're through the walls as well already. Yeah, I mean, given how many we're killing, we have to be like in there. I'm not seeing them on the walls, but they must be down in there, like in the courtyard. Yeah, I think that's some of our guys up there now. Just going in the door there. Could be. It's kind of hard to say because like our units are the same as their units. We just have different colors on. Like honestly, my units are like all of Landian. I've got a couple, but like quite a few Batanians as well, and then like a like a smattering of like Sturgeons and Asari troops and like mercenary troops. Actually, it's quite a few mercenary troops if I'm honest. Because we, we have the money, we can afford them. And it's like money's not really been an issue for us ever. It's, the issue for us has been being able to get enough people. But now that I have them, man, we're steamrolling. Like, honestly, steamrolling. And, like, I think we want to go after the Kuzate because if we can get the Kuzate lands, we can get the Kuzate units. And if we can get the Kuzate units, I'm more than confident that we can take out Rosari. We just need to take more of the Kuzate land than our Asari nation to the south. You know? That's the plan, at least. You can all go. Oh wow, you all love me. Yeah, let's get those horses and those crossbowmen. I feel like we've turned like full Vlandian with our unit composition in that regard, where I have a lot of those units. And like, I like the shields as well, because that works well with the uh, crossbowmen. If you can have like shielded infantry, your crossbowmen. And then you guys have some throwing stuff as well, which is kind of nice. Yeah, we want to go mercenary guard. And yeah, you guys have good infantry. The Sturgeons, I'm not really sure. I know. What do you guys think? Where are your stu uh, favorite Sturgeon units to build towards? I just don't really know. Ooh, we kind of have some of those. I think, are those the Ghoulmen or whatever? Okay, we can get a few more. Not a whole lot more. I shouldn't have grabbed that dude. That I can't even recruit that guy. Uh, we got that. And then one more. Okay. We'll see who this castle ends up going to. Just wait here for a little bit. Till someone gets elected for it. Yep, Turby. 
should go to... And you're the guy that joined up recently. You got Flintold. <clears throat> you don't have anything. Right? Okay. Well, then I need to give that to you. That's, I mean, that's what they want anyways. So, that makes sense. There's all these other people like, dude, give him a castle. He hasn't got anything. Cool. Um, lands. Again, this dude is not super keen on me. We're gonna spend what, what influence I do have on getting him to like me more. Let's see if Severic is still in the castle. Oop. I think he is. I think that that... No, he's not. Okay. Where are you, Severic? He was out here somewhere, apparently. Yeah, we just need to be... maybe put more defenders in here. And then I'm going to... oh yeah, other people put troops in there as well. Okay, I'm gonna put some troops in. I think that we have some low-level troops that I could give them. Wait, what? What's going on? That was weird. Uh, let's give you these looters. I have no need for these guys, honestly. All these level ones in like, I think zeros? Is that what that is? Yeah, like we can just kind of clean up our, our unit composition. At one point recently, I actually had not even any twos in the army, I was just threes and up. Which sounds super weird, I'm like ranking them numerically, which just sounds kind of weird. They do have 130 now as defending, I think that's pretty good. I want to see where... Everick is at. Last seen at Rovalt. Okay, well let's go back to Rovalt and see if he's back in there. Declaring war on the Sari. I would rather not, but it looks like you guys are kind of set on it. Well, hopefully I can um, kind of clean up this Landian problem. But I don't know. No Severic here. Okay, well that's a shame. Ekerund, where are you? Yeah, I think we're gonna have to go to war against the Sari, I guess. Which is really annoying. Let's just get our, our influence up. Maybe I can run over to one of these cities and try and talk to like, the lords over there. I'm gonna try and do that. You guys can all... ...do your thing over here and hopefully keep these guys kind of suppressed. I'm gonna get some food. If I can. Somewhere. Grain, here we go. Hecarin, go... yeah, take care of those, those places, that's fine. And I need all that food. Thank you. And that's clay. That's not really what I want. Hair Benson is on the way. Silver. Cotton. Yeah, it's also not really what I want. Let's just go straight for Care Benson then. It's fine. Mansa. Theresa Oh, is that, that's not the castle, that's the, so that's just like the village, so they're just raiding a village, it's fine. I don't understand why the other one disappeared. Oh, is it because I don't have enough of the right horse? That must be what's going on. Oh, gosh, that unit, their image is messed up. That's bizarre, I didn't know that, that could happen. I've seen it in-game. D tier. Oh, you... Okay, well, that guy, that guy's gonna pay. I just need to make sure, um, 
I just make sure this guy stays with us. I kind of want to go knock those guys down a peg, but I think we need to take care of the impending doom against the Asari. I really just honestly don't want to hurt the nation that's fighting the Kuzates, you know? Kind of like where I'm coming from. My thoughts. Because honestly, look at that, this. I think they took, like, Huron. They took Hosen Folk. Like, they have even a little castle right here up by us. Like, not okay, man. They're, like, a legit superpower. They've been, like, taking land from the, the faction that controls essentially the entire map. Okay, guys, we can go to war, but I am almost immediately going to find one of them and make peace with them using money. I do want you to know that. Um, whatever, I don't really care about your gang issues. I just want units. Thank you. Go over here. And hopefully there's a lord or like a wife of a lord or someone that represents the, the establishment. No, dang it. Okay. Guess we go up here then. These, oh yeah, also these two places flipped as well. From of land into the sorry. I just need to talk with someone from their faction, and then all will be right. And I think uh, that there's a lord up there. I'm pretty sure by the little uh, flag that's under them. Could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure that's what that that ends indicates. You know, it's kind of crazy to be at this point in the game. Like, honestly. Okay, so Lantanor. Can I make peace with this, Ari? Yes. See, and it, it costs like nothing as well. And like that, we are back more, once again, able to focus on the Vlandian Scourge. So we'll go back down there, and hopefully, um, I think Ekron's gonna take a city pretty soon. I'm not sure that I thought that's what I was seeing there. I don't know why it, it shows that little indicator and then, like, I don't see anything. Looks like my uh, companions are picking up all the units. Yeah, you guys really shouldn't have tried to leave. Now I'm going to have to give the castle to someone who's been more loyal. I mean, should I siege the castle? Should we do another castle siege? I think I should do that. Maybe I'll do that off-camera. I'll, I'll leave like the final battle with the Vlandians. But I just don't know how much back and forth we're going to have. The Sari have now declared war on you. I hope you guys are happy. <laughs> oh man, we're sieging like all, or we're like raiding all of them. Uh oh, Ekron got his butt kicked somewhere. A tier. We're gonna siege back the castle that we took there. The shame. Maybe I should get in there before Turvy Castle gets taken. I'm yeah, surprised that they got taken out like that. Yeah, I think we'll maybe just move up then. Prindor, you're down there, whatever. Okay. Behind by me, man. I just need to um, take these guys out. I'm pretty sure they're going to go for Turvy Castle any minute now. I mean, that's what I would do if I was them, you know? Oh, there's deserters. Um, I mean, that takes, like, almost no time. I think I'll do that. 
we'll end this here and I'll, I'll try and take make sure they stay repressed and maybe convince Severk to join us peacefully. We'll see. <laughs> I'll give him another couple chances. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.